This video is requested by Bumblebee, Elijah Simmons, Izzy Bear Gotcha, Joshua Ramos, Newbie Craft, Random Guy, Zato Sai, and Himiko Toga. Hello and welcome back to Quirk Analysis 101, the series where I give you a detailed rundown on the quirks in the world of My Hero Academia. In the last video, I discussed the ability that belongs to the neat freak, mask-wearing, ungodly piece of shit who deserved everything that is coming to him after touching our sweet, sweet cinnamon roll, Kai Chisaki, aka Overhaul, and his quirk which he <sighs> named himself after, god damn it, Overhaul. In today's video, I'll be discussing the quirk that belongs to the psychotic, bloodlustful, fan-beloved, queen of all kinks and jailbait apparently, you sick f Himiko Toga. But before I begin, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button and slide on into that subscribe button's DMs to hit that notification bell. And now, without further ado, let's suck our way on over to the terrifyingly toxic and ethically questionable quirk that is Transform. Transform is a transformation type quirk which first appeared in chapter 105 of the My Hero manga and episode 54 of the anime. This quirk grants its user the ability to shapeshift into the appearance of another person by consuming some of of their blood. Once a person's blood is consumed, the user excretes and engulfs themselves in a grey slime-like substance which molds into the shape and texture of their victim, turning the user into their replica. Now, when I say transform allows you to take on another person's appearance, I don't just mean their face. Their body structure, height, physique, voice, birthmarks, eye colour, fingernail length, peni, all of it. It doesn't matter whether it's a big insecurity or a tiny aspect of yourself that you're proud of, Transform will turn its user into a perfect, full body, one to one copy of whoever's blood they drink. But not only this, Transform also allows clothes to be included in the transformation as well. Meaning that when the user transforms, they can turn into the person wearing any attire they desire. So if you go undercover, you don't have to worry about looting clothes or leaving the naked body of your victims lying around. Because let's be real here, finding an unconscious body is bad enough, let alone finding an naked unconscious body. Ain't nobody need to see that. And now it's time to talk about this quirk's abilities, for which there are probably the least amount of out of all the quirks I've talked about in this series. Seriously, for Transform, you drink someone's blood and you can make yourself look like them. That's pretty much about it. I suppose I could mention the more blood you consume, the longer you can remain transformed, with one cup of blood, roughly 250 milliliters or eight ounces, equating to about one day of transformation time after consumption. There's also the fact that if the user consumes blood from multiple different people, they can choose which of their victims they want to transform into and when. They can even swap between their victims at will, making themselves transform into one person, then in mere moments someone else entirely without ever having to revert back to their original body. While this has no real benefits for combat or for mobility, this could prove to be super useful for espionage, as if one of your copies identities becomes compromised, you can swiftly change your entire appearance, clothes and all, with none the wiser. To be honest, besides invisibility, this is probably one of, if not the greatest quirks for sneaking missions. Although it does all depend on how much and whose blood you have access to. Trying to sneak into a military base ain't gonna be too easy when you're transformed as retail worker Steve from down the road. Now, when it comes to super moves, this quirk actually has none. Zero. Zilch. Nine. However, what this quirk does have is an awakening. Once Transform has been awakened, it not only grants the user the ability to copy a person's likeness, but also, if they have one, their quirk. Himiko Toga first awakened and used this aspect of her quirk in her fight against MLA key member Curious, when she drank some Save the Blood of Uraraka and proceeded to use Ochako Zero Gravity quirk to kill all of her opponents. Yep, Queen Blood King herself, once transformed, can now use the quirk of any person she copies. Which is both a huge upgrade to her quirk, bringing it from C tier at best to high B tier at worst, and makes her 10,000 times more terrifying than she already is. I mean, imagine she copied Vine's quirk. Things are going to be getting a lot more kinky. But enough of the abilities, now it's time to talk about this quirk's weaknesses, for which there are quite a lot of. Firstly, there's the fact that this quirk 
is entirely dependent on blood. If the user doesn't have access to other people's blood, which unless you're a doctor, I'm guessing you really don't or you probably shouldn't, then this quirk is rendered practically useless. No blood, no fun. Plus, even if you do get your hands on some blood, you would need quite a bit to get some good use out of it. One day transformation time is the equivalent to half a pint. So unless you're like Toga and cutting people up on the side or getting some generous donations, it doesn't look like you will be using this ability anytime soon. Another weakness associated with this quirk is that while you do gain the likeness of a person, you don't gain that person's knowledge, experience, or personality. Meaning that unless you have done extensive research on this person and their mannerisms prior to attempting to imitate them, you will have no clue on how to act as them. This also goes for gaining their quirk. Unless you have done a lot of research on how to use this person's super ability, you will have no idea on how to control their power or even what it does. And as Deku has shown us on multiple occasions, using a quirk for the first time without prior knowledge on it doesn't usually turn out too well. There is also the unfortunate circumstance of clothes. I have said previously that transform can manifest any form of clothing the user desires. And this is true. However, it is only true if the user themselves are completely naked. Transform only affects the user themselves. So if they activate this quirk while wearing clothing, they can't create more clothes over the outfit they are already wearing. Which is a simple issue to fix, just take off your clothes. But if your transformation timer runs out and you happen to be in a public place or out in the cold, it may be more of an issue than you realize. But on top of all of this, while drinking blood may be just like gulping down some OJ in the My Hero world, in the real world, drinking a lot of blood is basically a death wish. It can result in liver damage, diabetes, heart disease, arteritis, nerve damage, and in the worst case scenarios, hepatitis and HIV. So yeah, I know your favorite anime waifu has an obsession with consuming blood and vampires are one of the hottest monsters around. I mean, just look at this absolute specimen. But take it from the lunchtime crew, kids. Don't drink blood. You'll probably regret it. But enough of the weaknesses. Now it's time to talk about this quirk's potential. The first of which would be the ability to turn into animals. We know this quirk works on humans, but there is also a huge possibility this quirk could work on other living creatures. Birds, elephants, tigers, giraffes, whales, squirrels, you name it. The user could turn into all of these creatures at will and gain all of the benefits that come with each of them. This would increase the power of this quirk in almost every way, and it would probably be a lot easier to legally get your hands on some animal blood rather than some humans. Although I will say transforming into animals would only be of real use if the user also gained all of their attributes. It is stated that transform only aesthetically transforms the user, meaning they wouldn't be able to fly like a bird or breed underwater like a fish. But if the user could gain the power to copy these aspects, then it would be a total game changer. I mean, Transform learned how to copy quirks. I'm sure it's not a stretch to say it can copy more. And speaking of copying quirks, the greatest potential I believe this quirk has to offer is if the user could transform into an amalgamation of different people. Although it wouldn't provide much for remaining undercover, if the user could transform parts of their body individually, turning them into some sort of multi-person monstrosity, they could potentially gain the ability to use multiple quirks at once. Just imagine it. Jiro's ears, Bakugo's palms, Ochako's fingertips, Ida's engines, Ojiro's tail, Todoroki's hair, all on one person who could use all of their quirks simultaneously. While Toga probably wouldn't look the prettiest, I threw in Todoroki's hair to try and clean it up a bit, in terms of firepower and versatility, she would become a monster. And that's everything you need to know about the quirk transform. Overall, this is a very interesting, I'll bet kind of creepy ability. In the My Hero world, it's a dangerous quirk that is great for deception, doubt, and paranoia, and in the wrong hands, or the right ones depending on how you look at it, it can be utterly terrifying. In the real world, however, there really isn't much use you can get out of it. I legitimately can't think of any legal thing I could use it for other than for a party trick or to freak people out. And even illegally, 
unless you killed someone and wanted to steal their identity, there's not much you can do. Would I personally like to have this quirk? No. But let me know what you think. Would you like to have the transform quirk? And what quirk would you like me to cover in this series next? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Plus Ultra.